Hi, I'm Peter Gustinello with SaratogaWine.com, and I'm here today with Levi. How are we doing? Uh, we will be covering a tiny step into the ever-growing and expansive gin category. Great wine. Better prices. Delivered right to your door. SaratogaWine.com. We would like to talk about some of the country's most popular gins and showcase some great alternatives for people looking to explore the wonderful, flavorful world of this lovely spirit. So the most popular gin would be London Dry Gin. It's a redistilled neutral spirit that is macerated with dried botanicals. Now the most pronounced botanical is obviously going to be juniper, which imparts notes of pine, white pepper, and black pepper. The other botanicals will be coriander seed and angelica root. Now London Dry Gin also has to be distilled dry, which means no sugar and no artificial flavor. Nothing added. Nothing added. That's what keeps it dry. That's what keeps it dry. The Tangeray has long been recognized as the global leader in the London dry gin category, as they should be. This is a benchmark gin that has all other producers referencing it when they're starting out. It features classic notes of lime zest, white pepper, and of course that juniper, which makes it very versatile in cocktails. The gin and tonic recipe was based on this style of gin and is still the most popular serve when pouring London Dry, with a gin martini holding a close second place. My favorite. Is it? Absolutely. I love gin and tonics. No, gin martinis for me all day long. If you're a fan of, of using Tangeray for cocktails and looking to try something new, yet familiar in the style, I would suggest trying the Portobello Road London Dry Gin. Right there. Fantastic little gin. Very similar baseline with strong notes of juniper and black pepper. And what I enjoy about this gin is that it features softer citrus notes, allowing the spice botanical to really come out. Mm -hmm. Like the anise oh, comes out a little bit more. It's a, just a softer style of the London Dry, but without a really, really pronounced um, pine, the juniper yeah. notes. It's, it's really approachable and very versatile for mixing as well. I absolutely agree. It's one of my favorites for my gin martinis. <laughs> Another London Dry gin that's very popular in the market is obviously Bombay Sapphire. This is a gin that's a little more complex due to its build of 10 different botanicals they source from around the world. Soft approachable gins like Bombay have been all the rage in craft distillery. Like people love that botanical. It's, it really started the expansion of all Absolutely. the added botanicals it's, and flavors. Mm -hmm. And so someone who hit the forefront of that would be Hendrix. Right. Bringing the botanical gin to more of the forefront market, showing great notes of uh, rose or cucumber that that's their that's their namesake flavor right that, that cucumber <laughs> rose when it, when it launched in 1999 it mm -hmm. hit the market uh with a punch in the face yeah up up starting all everything that was known about about gins at least in the u.s yeah. and that is really what you taste in these kind of in this gin and it's you don't have something that hits it on the nail as well as hendrix does their flavor is so pronounced and just makes a really great flavor gin and, and versatile outside of those classic gin and uh, tonics, outside of the gin martini, the brambles. It's an expansive gin, uh, mm -hmm. you know, coolers and things like that because of that cucumber and rose note. Yeah. It's very refreshing. It has a little bit of a subtle sweetness to it and virtually no juniper, although it has to be mm -hmm. distilled with juniper. It's, right? it's, it's there. It's there, <laughs> but it's such an undertone mm -hmm. and the cucumber just takes it a, a next level. Although Hendrix leads the pack, brands like Green Bar Distillers Bright Gin from LA, California really shines through. The base distillate for this one is wheat. That is right, which adds <laughs> an inherent light, lightness and sweetness to the gin. Uh, another one of, of Levi's favorites here. Uh, it's got wonderful aromas of mint, a little bit of cinnamon, that anise that, that goes through pretty much all mm -hmm. of the gins, and lemon. It is almost like a cocktail in a bottle, like with the first <laughs> sure time we tried that, right? You put it over <laughs> ice, um, surprisingly um, good. Uh, it creates a wonderful tingle on the tongue when you're, when you're trying it neat, um, really expressive in, in all sorts of cocktails. And it is truly a botanical gin. Yeah, right? they've it got takes, everything. It, it, it takes the lead from <laughs> Hendrix and then uh, goes in a slightly different direction. Uh, steering away from that, that juniper. Mm -hmm. Can't say enough good things about it. It is a small batch, it's unique, it's uh, domestic, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. It works really well in, in classic cocktails like the Bee's Knees, because you get that lemon in there, mm -hmm. working with the honey. Um, cinnamon note. 
just, right. would, just keeps complementing each yeah. other. Stay away from maybe I personally wouldn't do a martini with this it. This is not a martini gin. No, yeah, this, I, this is this is on this much as we've talked with the Bombay, much softer, approachable gin. This is almost one you could drink on the rocks and doesn't need much more than that. It's got right. so many flavors going on in it. Yeah, we, we all collectively uh, in the shop here uh, liked it. A uh, really neat fact, uh, every single bottle produced and sold, they plant a tree for. So they're, they're, they're really conscious of the environment mm -hmm. and uh, they try and have a feel-good aspect to, um, to their, their, their business and, and us as consumers. So these new craft botanical gins have really paved the way and created an explosion of flavor and variety on the market. So I think with the final gin, we should really talk about one of Saratoga Wine's favorites. And this is the Inverosh Verdant Gin. It's a gin from South Africa, yielding botanicals from around the, both the capes in Africa. Neat. And what's really cool about this is it's already a very flavorful gin, but then they take a last infusion and soak it with fresh floral from the region, making it almost an explosion, like an intoxicating perfume, if you will. And nice. it just really is a loud, speaks for itself kind of gin, very unique. This is a sipper. You could get away with it maybe in a Negroni just to highlight the bitters and stuff playing in it. But this is a gin that really, like I said, will speak for itself. I mean, with the flavors you put out there, I would circle all the way back to like the bee's knees again because it has the florals, the honey, the and the, the I, lemon and the citrus. I can see that working really nicely, yeah. And once again, it's, it's fairly perfumey. It's a long lingering finish. Yeah. Floral on the nose, floral on the palate. Dry or semi-sweet? It's rounded. It's definitely not like a London Dry. There's definitely, you feel this softness of texture and it definitely plays into from either a little bit of sugar in it or just a soft, delicate bouquet. It's not pushing as much juniper. You know it's there, but it's definitely a floral over anything else kind of gin. Okay, so we have a, a lemon forward, a cucumber rose forward, and a floral forward. So these, these are in that, that botanical yeah, gin absolutely. category. Yeah, that's really, this is kind of the revolution with gin as we've seen progress from these to that. Yeah, and you still get that little undertone of, of licorice and anise. Mm -hmm. You know, it's com a commonality between all oh, of them. Absolutely. The world of gin has truly expanded over the last decade and brands like Tangeray, Bombay, and Hendrix have continued to be fan favorites and global leaders, yet the new age of botanical gins are bringing new consumers to the table. There is so much more to cover in the gin world. Old Tom Gin, uh, Geneva's, uh, yeah, the, the, the <laughs> origins, origins of gin could take an entire day in itself. Uh, and these are really exciting times in the gin world. And we hope that you love exploring our ever growing selection on saratogawine.com. Thank you for watching. And please remember to hit like and subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment in the section below and let us know how we're doing. Thank you again. Thank you.